Hello YouTube, Star Tribes D here, and welcome back to Mass Effect the Legendary Edition. So this is, I think, the third episode, yes, and uh, we just met these guys, and we have to go down to the lower ward to talk and, like, meet Fist, basically. Uh, I'm not sure where... What, what was this elevator to? Behind us, right? Yeah, you know what, we'll just set a waypoint there. Uh, because I'm kind of stupid. Yeah, okay, it's, it's totally right fucking there. But we have to go down to, uh, Korra's Den. And, dude, everybody wants to kill this dude, apparently. Except for the guards, for some reason. He probably has... Some kind of connections. Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. <laughs> there may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Dude, these are two of the most badass dudes ever. Also, I was talking to my friend Russell, and he said uh, the guy who... Spoiler alert, by the way. And you shouldn't be worried about spoilers if you're watching the third episode first. But click off now if you don't want that. But the guy who died in the first episode, he is actually a playable character later. And I found out a lot of the choices that we're going to make are actually take effect in the second and third game. Especially in the Legendary Edition, which is all seamlessly transitioned, which... I love so much. I love when games are actually choice driven. What is is this gonna take us somewhere? Let's talk to the officer. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yes, I Often am. was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm Don't sorry, we always? I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, shit. Yeah, we need to go to, uh, you know what? He doesn't I actually have, have a thing to tell right. us where to go. You're probably real busy. But that's so, fine. See you around, Commander. Man, that dude would love to talk to us, but unfortunately we don't have time for that. We need to get back in the action so you guys don't get bored. Cora's Den, there it is, down here. This game is a little hard for me to follow as far as directions. But, it, overall, love the game. It's just sometimes, you know, with having to travel to different points and you don't always get to set a waypoint, it's it's a little tricky. This is Cora's Den, if I remember right. And so, who is it that we have to actually go to? Welcome back, Earth Clan. And I did Will come here, but I it got edited companies? out. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, thanks. I think I'll be going. As you say, Earth Clan. We're going to talk to... Fist. Oh, this isn't the den, is it? This is like the shopping market or whatever. Uh, so where is Quora's den? I need to find another one of those direction arrow things. Yeah, directions to Quora's den. Oh, nice. So something like a strip club, I guess. Oh my God! Do you guys see all those enemies? Over there. All right, we gotta fuck him up. As soon as I say we need- Get out of my fucking way! As soon as I say we need to add some action for you guys, we get this shit. Come on, wait for my weapon to recharge. The way Russell explained it is it needs to recharge. Kind of like what I was figuring, it needs to recharge. But apparently the weapon in like the second or so game is really cool. Like the way it actually works, something about it like splits off pieces of metal that are perfect sizes, kind of like a rail gun, I guess. Which sounds cool, I am excited to get into that. We are out of healing. That severely sucks. So we just gotta be careful. That's one reason I chose the long rain class, because we can get, we're kinda close now, but still far enough away to where they don't always hit their shots. Uh, there's an enemy over here. Come on, where'd you go, pal? Dude, it took three shots to take him down. What a fucking beast. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can take cover like that. Heal up a little bit. We got some more somehow. Might have collected it, I guess. We need to start turning some of the weapons we find into, uh, that Omnigel, I think it was called. I don't know. I'm not good with names like that. Fire containment system. No, thank you. Oh, Stuff he just was like fucking standing in there. I'm gonna come as close as I want, man. There's nothing you can fucking do about it. I'll snipe your ass. Come on. Come on out, pal. I'll make it quick, don't worry. That was fucking glitched. Ooh, what's in here? Uh, begin manual override. I actually really like this puzzle. Instead of like, you know, the basic 
Skyrim lockpicking or something, which I, I do love, don't get me wrong, but every fucking game uses it. I don't think we need these. We'll uh, reduce these to the almond gel because we are absolutely out. And we need some to actually heal up now. Come on. Why am I sucking so bad right now? Oh, and we have no healing again. And if you're wondering why I'm using the sniper so much versus uh, other weapons, which I'm getting ready to use, I I don't know. I just find that they're so much less effective. As soon as I say that, this will probably, yeah, absolutely destroy. Hey, that one's all right, but the sniper, dude, it's not hard for me to aim, and it's just so easy just to get one-shot kills with it. But since we're in such close combat, we might go ahead and try and use that other gun. For a little while, anyways. Uh, where was it? The Lancer, I think? Yeah. Looks like it this gun's pretty badass, too, though. Yeah, that's not bad, but that just takes so much longer to kill them. And we gotta wait for it. But you get a lot more shots before you need to recharge. And if we're accurate, yeah, it didn't take that long. You know what? I do think we're gonna switch back to the sniper for a second, though. Come on out, bro. Come on, man. Fucking cowards, man. Either glitched or cowards. Or both. Glitched cowards. Dude, he fucking somersaulted. All right, we're back here. I think my only complaint so far is up until now, I couldn't say. So it made me start all that again, but I guess since we're here at like the boss fight, basically. Wow, this actually does so much damage against him. It's insane. That one dude wants to kill him, but I really want to get him just out of the fucking way. Go ahead, fight my battles for me. Uh, let's let's switch to the Lancer. If he uh, if he decides to kill him himself, that's perfectly fine. I don't give a shit. But hit, dude, those turrets suck. God, we need to race across. Oh, okay, now it's letting me take cover. I was pressing R1 and everything earlier. It wasn't letting me. Fuck. More health. And fist already regenerated. Okay, cool. Switch to the sniper. Wait, did he kill him? Wait! Oh, okay. I need information from you. Where's the He's still gonna die regardless She's of not I here. Say I don't know it. where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, so you don't deal with the I don't know where he is, himself. but I know where you can find face her. To face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she uh, shows up, ass. there'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Uh, you son of a bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Ho ho ho. Get it, man. Wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Yep, do it. Dude, I don't what even are you care. doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I understand. A lot fully. of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Do we just go back out the way we came, basically? I hope so. Yeah. Right, get out of my way, please. Again with this shit. Just let me do the shooting, pal. All due respect, I'ma do some sniping. Come on, get out. Dude, you're not gonna live. Get the fuck out. What? They're such bitches, dude. Oh shit. Oh, thank god. With all due respect, thanks for doing some of the shooting, pal. Okay, hang on a minute. I thought that was our waypoint for... Dude, it doesn't even tell me where to go. I don't... I don't know where the fucking lower markets are, or the, that's the lower market, but and she's gonna die in two minutes and I don't even know where, oh, that's where to go. Uh, assassin, please let me aim at the assassin. What are you doing? I, I can't shoot them. Okay. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? 
They'll be here. Fist is Where's in a fucking grave. No the deal's off. Oh boy. Damn. Dude, I feel like the sniper is so fucking OP. It's insane. How are my health? Sucks so bad. Russell or somebody, give me some advice on, you know, just set me up. how to get more health. I knew I armor, couldn't trust I him. Uh, I took care of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? I'm with the Alliance. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Okay. That's fine. And hopefully she'll be able to talk us out of the situation. You're not making my in. life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who is this? The Quarian? Uh, she what are you can up help to, us. Shepard? Shut up and I'll tell this you. This can help us bring down Sarah. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. Yeah, quit getting ahead of yourself, has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just Cock start boy. at the beginning. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. What about Saren? What kind of evidence did you find? How did you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated Which from its unit. Then done. I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches so of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. What we Eden got? Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer Is to that finding Sarah? the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. We got him. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Really? Saren wasn't working but wait, alone. There's more. <laughs> Who's this? Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer. Is it gonna to be the council? The I guarantee it. They're dirty as fuck. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Oh, uh, sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Uh, she's right, I the guess. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. But he the doesn't, I guess? just going to love this. Uh, well, they believe this it. Is a lot that is hand. the question, for sure. They might sure. just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the quarry? My name is Tali. Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Oh, Let me come I was with like, you. What fucking alley? Uh. Join us. I'll take all I the help I can guess, get. Yes, but we have to give up one of our people. Thanks. I think. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Uh, okay, so we gotta pick two, I guess. Uh, I want her. Wait. Uh, we just gotta add to see what it is we're gonna get. Okay, why? Well, her combat strength is amazing. Uh, out of. Uh, we only get two. That's fine. I'll just go with them, I guess. I let me know if that was a good or a bad choice. I guess. Uh, 
finds breaking discovery, has to set appointment with the council. <laughs> uh, do we go through here? I think that's like a quest marker thing. Let me in, let me in. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to dude over Excuse here. Excuse me, Commander, Sh Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait. I don't like that. I can see his eyes through Your his Your wife eye was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm Holy so shit, sorry if for I wouldn't your have loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali would was not have had woman. this dialogue. I think. What can we do for you? That's insane. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Uh, that's garbage. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosco. It's probably when I last some kind saw of him, in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Of course. Sir. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. I can't imagine A, losing somebody like that, and B, them not allowing you to have the body. That is. That's shit, honestly. There's a lot of cool looking people in this game. Are you guys enjoying the series so far? I know Russell's loving the absolute fuck out of this series. But I hope the rest of you are enjoying it as well. How do we... How do we get there? That doesn't make any sense. Was there a door I was supposed to open and I was just too busy talking? I'm so confused on what I'm supposed to do. Uh, was I supposed to go behind this wall, maybe? Uh, through here, I bet. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I'm ready to see what the council says. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made sure for quite am. a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpse. You can cut the red corpses. tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. But why? Serviceman Just tell Nirali me why. Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon okay, damage so we've seen evidence. before. That is why her body is being held. Uh, you're running tests. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully. Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Uh, I'll... Smesh should hear this. I'll Samesh. tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just cool. the reaction we were I was intimidating. To but if you think <laughs> it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I guess there aren't. Oh, no. Gotcha. So we go back out here and the rumors. talk to this dude, I guess. I thought we were going, you know, for the console, but this is the side quest, I guess. Uh, yeah, make a decision. You've heard Mr. Bosker's reasons for keeping the body. Uh, use charm or intimidation skills to convince one of the men to see reason. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running tests. They're running medical studies on Norali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her? Uh, I'll work on it. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. I just wanted to let him Please know. Please let me know. Keep him updated, you know. even though he's a fictional character, I guess. Uh, so, wait, what do I have to do? Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? We investigated? Will he return my wife's body? Wife, Bosker's location. Where can I find this, Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. Respectfully, sir. Dude, I literally just looked it up. Just that one part to try and figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. And all it told me was to intimidate him. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? 
Uh, grease the body now. You've got no and there was no right intimidation option. I, I tried to explore the military all has the made dialogue. its choice, and it believes that gaining new technology is worth inconveniencing people like Mr. Batia. Studying Nirali Batia's body could save the lives I of countless soldiers. I understand that, but I can't shit. release her. Thanks for your help. <sighs> Hello, We're gonna again, try this Commander. again. Can I help you? You've got no legal right to keep the body, and I know you don't want this to go public. The military has made its choice. And it believes that gaining new technology is worth inconveniencing people like Mr. Batia. Studying Nirali Batia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. Yeah, the only reason I'm releasing the body. Uh, what? It just changed. Do you guys see that? Why can't I do anything? I've. Please tell Thanks me if you help. know the answer to this because I. We gotta move on now to a different thing, but I don't want to leave that quest unfinished and it's just, it's not letting me choose any options. In the video I watched about it just now, like I tried to look it up so we can get this done, but in the video I watched, it literally had an intimidation thing and he tried it and then, you know, it moved on from there and I figured we could have figured it out, but no, there's just literally nothing that I can do and I don't know why. So we're, we're going to make it our way over to the tower now. We've already been recording for, you know, like 40 minutes. And I want to get that quest done as well as the side quest. If somebody could tell me how to actually get that done, I would appreciate that. But I do want to move on to the story with you guys so you aren't stuck watching me do this for an hour and a half or something. I feel so bad, too, that we just got to walk by him and not have any answers. But... I know it's a game, dude, but I can't help but feel bad because I can't do anything about it. I want to so fucking bad, dude. I would shoot up the whole fucking place just to get the body back. Even though apparently, like, the comment said in one of the videos I was watching, or the video I was watching, the character, uh, Shepard, he says in an episode, or, uh, sorry, I, I'm so bad with words sometimes, but he said at some point that the military should have the body for testing because, you know, of everybody it'll save. It doesn't make sense that he would want to release it. You know, it's obviously player's choice. I I don't know. I'm not about to go to that man and tell him I'm done with this or whatever the option was. It's no. If you're going to add something into the game, please make it possible for me to complete the quest. And maybe I'm just being stupid, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Let's hope this Eden actually Prime does something. Major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted that proof? That is clear evidence. There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, Good. and all now efforts will be made be to bring us, him in to answer for his fine. crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's that? Who's she? <laughs> Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Uh, Only what was extracted yeah, we learned from, a little bit from her. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Saren's bringing them back, that's right. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Uh, it's trouble, that's Saren for thinks sure. it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has you to were be. on our Where side. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Oh my god, you're serious. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers it doesn't are matter. Just a Stop myth, him. Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. <sighs> I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. 
CERN is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. Oh my the god. Is this him is his position. so fucking aggravating. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation I over a few that, dozen you gotta human do colonies. get that, something. Yeah, you'll do nothing. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. Oh. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. Okay, what is it? No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Quit it was a Turian Spectre man. who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. That is so fucking true. Commander Shepard, step forward. Oh fuck yeah. Gives us the nod of approval. Hell yeah, man. Is this it? Are we gonna be part of the council now? With the first human member? It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Oh wait, Spectre we're not going to be the Council, of course. But chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, it and made us a Spectre. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I am honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Fuck, finally they did something, though. Although it's always like that. When people want to do things, it's just so much red tape. Commander. You can't do We've anything. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Please Requisition tell me we're going to get some bad Anderson, sniper come with me. now. I'll need your help to set all this up. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding news. officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Oh. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Free to welcome. Yeah, what's going on? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Oh. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm so proud he's, of. So he's giving up Ask everything later and I'll to give us a chance. Story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Oh, Saren will pay. Saren's not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. That's literally what we were Con trying to do. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before we our are the captain there dropped now. That's out of contact. Insane. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Is that it? Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I'll start there. 
Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. Try and get a lead it's to where to find to her and then where to find Respect Saren from there. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Right on, right on. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. I'm so sad that he's stepping down, but I hope something good happens to him, man. Really yes, bad. Commander? Are you okay? Yeah. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Dude, Tell me what happened with you and Sarah so 20 brave years of him ago. To do. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Yeah, so why hide this? Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. Yeah, what? I think How I deserve did he the make whole sure story. Of that? We had intel on a rogue Sorry if you guys don't want to hear all this, funded but I'm by interested. interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back right. out. Right. Serum was dirty Quick, back quiet, then, too, wasn't he? And a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Of course you did. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. Yeah, the whole place was on any fire. evidence. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Most God of damn. Them. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Got blamed. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Fuck Saren. Saren's I hope the captain gets all something the proof good the after all this. To kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. It's not fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent. Yeah, we've literally I had just a bad went feeling over about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. Good. I think he what wanted a piece things of to shit, go bad. Man. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the specters. If so, he pulled it off. That doesn't matter. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Goodbye. I should go. I'll be here. I hope everything me. turns out well with him. Uh, where do we go now? Up here to our ship, I guess. Oh my God! It's that meme. Look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> That's hilarious. I I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. Decontamination. Come on, boys. We gotta stop this motherfucker. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Yeah, we are Saren's ready. out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew? I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Oh, we get to do the whole speech. Uh, Eden Prime was just the start. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes somehow. of Citadel space. Saren will be ready for us. Our enemy knows we're coming. 
Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity's in this alone. Everybody's counting on us. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the but sake of every other species everyone, in Citadel man. space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. God, this well is so man. awesome, dude. Captain this gives me fucking proud. chills. I won't let him down. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. I hope he's listening, man. Dude, that gets me so pumped up, and we are gonna stop him. But unfortunately, as it's YouTube and, you know, retention and all that, we are gonna have to end this video first. I'm so sorry. I promise next episode we're going on with the story. We're gonna stop this bastard, guys. But. For now, if you guys like this video, and I'm going to keep these coming daily so you guys don't have to worry about, you know, going without. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And thank you guys for all the support that you have given me through all of this. Remember to subscribe and everything. Please stay, you know, within the channel and everything. And we are, we are, we are going to do so much better on this channel. I'm so excited. But enough babbling if you guys like this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So as guys, stay awesome. And you guys are the best best fan base on all of YouTube. Star Travis Team.